Oh god, do I still remember how to do this? Hello everybody, it's me, Arctica the Fox, and right now I am currently preparing to head to Anthrocon. Technically, Anthrocon started yesterday, but I have an internship that I need to be working at, so unfortunately I wasn't able to go yesterday. But I just got out of work, so it's time to go! And here is essentially the first time I put on my fursuit. As you can see, I'm really happy and excited to finally actually be able to be Arctica. And I'm struggling to pose because I am not good at body acting. I mean, even my tail wags look kind of stiff, but I always know I'll look good in a slow-mo spin. It feels like I didn't sleep last night. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.
something up to fool your opponents and submit it on your device. And after you eat it, you'll be stuffed with regret. <laughs> Now this was a really fun and interesting panel. I saw this one on the Anthrocon event schedule and I instantly knew I had to stay for this one. It's about traditional dragon, unicorn, and lion dances that originate from the east, south, east parts of Asia. The person giving this presentation mostly showed us videos about the different types of dances and the history behind them and how each culture performs these differently. The cartoon currently playing is about the legend of the lion monster, Nian, that like terrorized villages but the people fought back with red paint and loud noises. And oh my god, look at this video. This looks absolutely insane. Like, look at that. How? Oh my god, that is so freaking impressive. Now we wake up as this. Show off, right? You are shaking the. And then we're gonna go down, and what we're normally doing. We're done. We celebrate. We did it. Then we parade around again. We're so happy. We're so happy. And then we're gonna back up usually, because we're probably somewhere we don't want to be. We're swinging around. Switch again. Swinging around. Switch again. Swinging around. Switch again. And then we'll call it done. We'll take off the head. Everyone will clap. This day two of Anthrocon, just half a day because we need to get out of here early. Uh, so yeah, let's go. I will say, it's a lot easier to film commentary when you're by yourself. Man, it is sunny today.
Here comes the girl. Hello, girl. Welcome. There she is. And this is the part of the video where I show you guys everything that I got from the convention. So as you can see, I got quite a lot of things, but I will say everything in this zone right here was kind of like just free stuff. So I'll start with the first thing I bought, which was these pair of fursuit glasses. I bought the frameless ones mostly because I didn't really want to have to deal with like extra frames in these glasses. So there are like magnets back here for where the lenses should go, but I figured just the frames are good enough for my purposes. Got a nice little strap on the back and when on my fursuit, it looks absolutely fantastic. It looks almost exactly like how I always draw her. And it just makes me happy knowing that my fursuit can be even more accurate to how I draw her. Next up is a cookie prop. I've always wanted a fursuit prop and since my character is kind of associated with cookies, specifically the chocolate chip variant, I get like a small fursuit prop of a small cookie. And yeah, it's really cute, squishy, and I mean, it looks like a cookie. They were also selling fursuit disinfecting sprays. So I got one of those as well. They even have directions on here, which is pretty helpful. I also got their business card. So if you'd like, take a look. Next up after that, I got another fursuit spray, but this one's scented with cucumber melon. It smells really nice and refreshing, not too sweet and also fairly mild. So it'll be good for someone like me who is particularly sensitive to very strong scents. After that, I got myself a fursuit bandana of the ace flag colors. Got a nice little buckle back here just snaps on and snaps off it looks really nice really cute fits really well and yeah hopefully i'll be able to wear this a bit more in the future after that i stumbled upon Lichgate, and i found this really cute holographic keychain they had a bunch of like boba holographic keychains of different planets in our solar system including pluto and i got the earth variant because i really like the colors once again here's where you can check them out after that, I got a little bit of Night in the Woods merchandise, and this one's a glittery keychain. I don't know if you can see it too well, but yeah, I really love this video game, and I'm really happy that I got to get some merch for it. Here's the business card that it came with. You can check them out here. Now, since I was at the convention for two days, one full day on Saturday and half a day on Sunday, I got to go to the dealer's den again. I bought some stuff for my mom, and in addition to that, I also bought some stuff for myself again. First up is this adorable little fox sticker, and here's the artist's information. And the last thing I bought was this cute little plushy fox. Aww. It's called Anxiety Fox and Friends. And the text back here is a little small and hard to read, but hopefully a link to this one will also be on the screen so you can go check them out too. This was part of a freebie pack I found at a trading post, I think, and it also included a bunch of holographic stickers. Now these pins were part of the Anthrocon pin collection thing. My mom and I got both the mouse and the lion and someone was giving out extras of their fox. And since the fox was my main target, I didn't really bother going for the raven, but now that I'm looking at it, Oh, it's so cute though. Oh, kind of regret not getting it. I also got some Anthrocon freebies and I completely forgot to mention that I also got myself a big ace flag at the dealer's den too. And I also took a bunch of business cards just for personal future reference, but I'll show them off here too, just in case you guys want to follow some cool people. And that is the end of my Anthrocon vlog. This was my second ever furry convention I've ever been to. The first one being MFF in 2018, almost a whole four years ago. I just want to thank Oakley's Creations for helping me bring Arctica to life in fursuit form. She did an amazing job and I'm so happy I was able to wear her at the convention. Another big thank you to my parents for supporting everything I do, my dad for driving us down to Pittsburgh, and especially my mom for being my trusty handler at the convention, taking photos, filming, carrying all my stuff, and just being there for me. She also had a lot of fun at the convention too. Last but not least, I want to thank all of the convention staff and board for making my Anthrocon experience absolutely magical. I would love to come back again next year and actually attend the block party instead of drowning myself in panels. And also shout out to my Trevelor, if that's how you pronounce it. I think that was the first time I've ever gotten recognized in public for my furry content. Hopefully I'll see more of you guys in the future at these conventions. If you want 
want to stay up to date with what I do, make sure you're following me on Instagram or Twitter. I post most life updates on my Instagram stories, and I post a bunch of random stuff on Twitter. I also stream from time to time on Twitch. And as always, you can find the rest of my links in the description below at the very bottom. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Infinite love and gratitude. Ciao!